give it on my tongue. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Even better than I was the yeah. last time, baby. Ooh, 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 ooh. We back. I'm good. What's up, J Team? Welcome back to the channel. It's Trinity. If you would like to join the J Team, all you gotta do is click subscribe. As you can tell by the title, I'm going to be eating my pregnancy cravings. I mean, honestly, anything that go in my mouth is a pregnancy craving, okay? Like, a lot of people have this misconception that a pregnancy craving is something that's just like a weird combination. It's one thing for it to be like a weird pregnancy craving, but honestly, like a pregnancy craving is just what a pregnant woman is craving a lot of during pregnancy. Wanting to eat something literally every day, compared to if I wasn't pregnant, I probably wouldn't eat it every day. That's how I see the whole pregnancy craving thing. There's actually a lot of like, <sighs> incorrect things that people say about what a pregnant woman should eat. Last time I was pregnant with Eden, I was overwhelmed with the amount of comments that was telling me what I can and cannot eat in my videos. Like it was just, it was just weird. I'm not gonna lie. Cause it was just like, what? what? Like, calm down, calm down. Calm down. So one of them being pregnant women are not supposed to eat spicy food. <laughs> Whoa. I love spicy food. Like everyone knows this about me. I love spicy food. So when I was just getting these comments, you're not supposed to eat spicy food. It was just like, nope. no ma'am, <laughs> no ma'am. I don't know who told you that. Who said that? Mm, no, uh, pregnant women can eat spicy food. It may cause heartburn in some women, not all. I've never experienced heartburn. I don't even know what heartburn even feel like. Uh, so it's different for everyone, but to say that pregnant women are not supposed to, like the heat and the spice is gonna trickle down to the baby and burn the baby's mouth. Like it's not that deep, man, it's not that deep. So honestly, I'd be chuckling at some of the comments in regards to people telling me what I can and cannot eat. Honestly, if I'm being transparent, I think it's not really something that people should chime in on. But I just wanted to take that moment to, of course, use my platform to talk on the behalf of pregnant women, just to kind of stand up for us. Okay, so the first thing I'm gonna be eating that, I don't know, when I saw it, I was just like, ooh, I gotta have it. But I've never picked these up like recently. I'm telling you like, it's just something that, oh, I just want that. But this is a pancake sausage on a stick. This is what it looks like. Oh, it smells so good. Oh my gosh, I freaking grew up on these. I cannot believe it, you know? So it's like a blueberry pancake and inside is sausage. Whew, I cannot wait to eat this, y'all. This is my first meal of the day. One thing um, that I just haven't been on for a long time is eating early in the morning. Like I always skip the breakfast time. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't know, I get up and I'm not always hungry. Sometimes I am, but it's more for like liquid water, protein shake. It's not really like food because I feel like whenever I eat like heavy meals in the morning, it makes me like lazy. Am I the only one? Like I can't do that. Like if I eat a big meal in the morning, I am going to lay out on the couch. Not a lot of stuff's gonna get done. <laughs> At least for me, like let me know, am I the only one like that? Like I have to keep the breakfast portion light. It has to be light. Dear Lord, please bless this food. Let me nourishment to my body in Jesus name. Pray, amen. Mm. Mm, mm. This is so good. Like I never would have thought I would be eating this even today. Like, mm. while I eat, I'm gonna um, get to these emails and stuff. Your girl needs an assistant. I think that's something that I'm probably going to um, look into this year. The thing is I got trust issues. Like, I'm gonna make sure my lawyer gets a good thick contract before I let someone kind of step into my life like that because people ain't loyal, y'all. Like, I'm not even gonna go down that road. Oh, another thing I've been doing a lot of during this pregnancy is drinking water. Now, my husband will probably be like, he might side eye me when I say this. But your girl has, I have been drinking my water. I just haven't been drinking like a gallon amount. If anything, I'm kind of just sticking to the six to eight cups of water. Some days I drink more water 
and some days I don't. It really depends. But what's important is that I have some water beside the bed. And uh, if it's beside the bed, I can reach for it and get, get in the water. <sighs> I'll never forget the time when I was first pregnant and I went on an elevator. And this lady, so random, this lady was just like, um, you know, you're pregnant. And you know, congratulations and stuff. And she's and she just randomly said, um, by the way, make sure you drink like the expensive water during pregnancy. Now, your girl was already about that life, you know, bottled water all day. I don't do tap. I'll tell y'all why in maybe another video, but yeah, I'm not about to trust tap water for the simple fact that I've seen some stuff in the tap water. So let me just I ain't gonna go into it. Mm, this is so good, but you know what? The cook in me wants to try to make these. This is one of the few areas that I um, do my stretches. I actually like to be upstairs in like the gym, but I don't know, today I came here. I'm just gonna continue to do my stretches and you know, bust out a little bit of squats and just be active today. I try to be active every day. Um, just because I just feel better when I'm active. So after being active, I try to follow up with a protein shake. That's kind of like just what I would do anyway if I wasn't pregnant, but I don't want no protein shake. <sighs> what am I craving? Ooh, some pomegranates. Usually I would do the full thing, like the big old brown pomegranate but the store didn't have any so i had to get these which is cool some of y'all probably like well it's easier to eat but your girl like to dig for it you know what i'm saying like it, 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 i like to dig for it. i like to work for it okay that's just me i like the uh fresh ones but let's see if this still hit y'all probably like it's going to it's the same thing Ooh, we'll see by the way um east coast how y'all liking that snow some of y'all should know but your girl is from North Carolina, what's up, North Carolina State? My parents, Stephen parents, um, they definitely have snow over there today on this particular day. Um, so yeah, how y'all liking that? Cause there ain't no snow over here and thank God for it. Cause now that I'm in Texas, um, yeah, Texas can't handle no snow. I'm not about to go through that whole entire power outage again. I'm not doing it. Let me see what's on TV, something quick. Cause y'all, I'm a binge watcher. I will sit and watch and watch and watch. I'm so proud of myself because I know myself so well. I'm just happy that I'm self-aware. You know what I'm saying? Like I know that if I sit here, I can binge watch. So I tell myself, don't. Don't put on anything that's gonna drag it out like you have control. Let me give y'all a close up because I do think pomegranates just look so freaking satisfying. They look so freaking satisfying. Lately, I've been watching uh, Judge uh, Mathis because <laughs> he be funny. Let's go. Mm. Mm. Woo, juicy. Is it just me or is everyone that's pregnant craves some type of fruit? That's how I feel like it is for me. I should have compared this video to my other one. Cause I know I did a pregnancy craving video a while back. I feel like pomegranates was in that video. Y'all want a bite? Go ahead and say ah, cause y'all know it look good. It look good, do it taste good. It do, it do, it do. Well, I finished most of it, but left a little bit in here. That's another misconception that a lot of people have. People think that pregnant women just eat a lot. We are supposed to eat more calories. So we are supposed to eat more. However, like it varies for everyone, y'all. Like if you see a pregnant woman not finishing her meal, it's because her body told her to stop. You know what I'm saying? Like we're not supposed to just eat, eat. You know what? Let's roll a throwback clip because I know that uh, my last pregnancy, I was still in North Carolina and I went to go visit my parents and I was in their fridge. And I remember y'all saying, oh my gosh, my, my parents would not even allow me to open up the fridge for that long. Mm. Mm. <sighs> Lord, that's the fridge telling me that I've 
had it open for too long. But now that your girl got on place, I can leave my fridge open for however long. Now I'm going to be making this cucumber salad. Um, if you're not new to my channel, you have probably seen me make this before. I'm okay with a little bit of green. I do not object to the green. Time for the fun part. You know what y'all, I'm gonna be buying me a new knife set. Well, I'm still gonna keep the same knives that I have, but I've noticed that sometimes I don't have the knives that I want available. So it's like, I kind of have to use what I have. That's why some people have been like, why are you using this knife for this and that knife for this? Well, because the other knife is probably in the dishwasher, washing in the sink or whatever. And I always say this, but cucumber smells so freaking good, y'all. Ugh, it smells so good. See, for this, I could be using a smaller knife, but I don't have it available, so we're using this. So for this particular cucumber and tomato salad, some Italian dressing, just a little. We'll see if we need to address later. Some black pepper, a lot of black pepper. Oh my gosh, let me mix it up before I start sneezing. Oh Jesus, some salt and some olive oil. Well, I mean, we probably didn't have to because it's probably in here. Mix it. Hmm. It needs something. Hold on. I'm gonna add a little bit of apple cider. I used to take shots of this back in the day because it is like very healthy. Like I've read articles where people have lived longer because they've taken shots of this. Y'all be reading. I don't know what else to tell y'all. I really be out here reading a lot of stuff. Just a little. That's enough. That's enough. I just want a little bit of, you know. We can thank TikTok for putting me on with this. I could definitely say this has been part of my pregnancy craving. Watermelon with this? Oh my gosh, y'all. It has made me a believer. I never would have thought that this would have been something I hopped on. Because it's something that I see, but it's just like, hmm. And you know what? I don't think I even need to add lime in here because I have this. Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. I think this is gonna hit more than I ever thought it would. I mean, I know it was gonna hit, but I mean, now we over here just getting a mixing and getting creative. See, that's a pregnancy craving right there where you just start saying, mm, a little dash of this, a little dash of that. Mm. Give y'all a nice close up. Oh yes, oh yes. <laughs> Thank you. I, I'm, I know some of y'all said bless you. I appreciate y'all for being spiritually here. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. I know it's about to hit, but I want it to really like, you know what I'm saying? I want it to, I just want it. Let's see. Let's see. Ooh. I feel like I'm smacking. I'm so, so sorry. I'm so, so sorry. <laughs> it's that tang that make you wanna, you know what I'm saying? Mm. Yeah. Yeah. I like that. I do have some leftover pizza from uh, Marco's, which, yeah, I'm not familiar with that. This is definitely a Texas thing. Do they have this in, um, they ain't got this in uh, North Carolina, do they? I don't think so. It's thin crust pepperoni pizza with jalapenos because your girl loves the spice all day. We're not getting rid of the spice over here in this pregnancy. We don't do that. We don't. <sighs> Babe, can you get me a, um, a plate? A plate? Mm -hmm. Yes, yes. Oh, and while I eat this pizza, me and Bay gonna watch, um, what is it, Power Ghost? That's what I'm gonna do while I eat this pizza. I'm gonna take a little nibble for y'all, but after that, it's time to sit down and watch the show. So, babe, what 
What pregnancy craving would you say is the most shocking? The most shocking? Pregnancy craving that I've had. I would say um, the hot sauce and chips. Yeah. And ew. I don't, <laughs> I don't really know what that's about. I, I don't really, like, it feel like I just, well, it makes sense it's a craving, but I'm not used to seeing her eating hot sauce and chips. That's not really, you know what I'm saying? He be um, making it for me, too. Yeah, and it, I don't, you know, like salsa, so the smell, all that type of stuff, it get messy, it get sloppy. Uh, that, um, spicy noodles, she don't really, like, you yeah. know what I'm saying? She randomly just like, ooh, let me order some spicy noodles, and I'm like, okay. So, that's a weird craving. Um, Big Macs. Now, I don't eat McDonald's, okay? Uh, I ain't got nothing against McDonald's, but it's just like when I've reached a certain level in life to where I'm like, yo, I've been fed this trash all my life and I ain't, I ain't eating that no more. So when I see her eating Big Macs, I'm like, yo, I mean, have at it if, if it works for you. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, that was, those are some of the weird cravings for me that I see. You know what I'm saying? So Y'all, I think he should try my pregnancy cravings. Ooh, -ee. What y'all think? Comment below. He should. He mm. should experience my pregnancy cravings. Y'all want to see that? Really? Y'all want to put me through that? Come on, J-Team. It's entertainment. They'll appreciate <laughs> it. They will appreciate it. I, 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 I do it for y'all. I do it for y'all. I will. You know what I'm saying? But I can't promise I'm going to get through everything. Just know that. Take a look. Pepperoni and jalapenos. This combination is bomb. I don't care what anybody says. <laughs> and it's thin crust. I like thin crust pizza. Let me know if you're the same way. Because sometimes I just want the toppings more than the um, bread. Also, it's less carbs. So, why not? Okay, really. <laughs> why not? And sometimes when, sometimes the regular crust at some of these pizza spots, they be looking kind of blown up a little bit i didn't ask for a bunch of crust okay i asked for my pepperonis and my cheese and all that i ain't asked for a big old thick old piece of crust not unless it's stuffed but let's get into it mm, mm, mm. the spice ooh, i love it no problem with it Mm. Mm, the flavors on my tongue. I will say pizza has been another craving. Ooh, and ribs, mac and cheese, like that home cook. Yeah, egg boils. I want y'all to know there was no way for me to incorporate all of my pregnancy cravings in this video. But egg boils, listen, if you have not seen my spicy bowl, well, my egg spicy bowl. Whoo, that thing hit. The girl been eating good. And what about it? What about it? I just got done watching a good show. Rested a little bit. It's time to go on to the next pregnancy craving that I've been craving. Moochie ice cream. Mm-mm-mm-mm. For my OGs. People that's been watching me back in the day, during those food color videos especially, y'all know. It's crazy because I took a long break from eating these and now that I'm pregnant, <laughs> I was just like, ooh, I gotta get my own. My little uh, Moochie ice cream, oh my gosh, y'all, I love these so much. And you welcome, cause a lot of people have told me that I've been putting them on. Like after I was really talking about this in my videos, people were really like messaging me through Instagram and saying that, you know, it's now like their favorite dessert and stuff. So you welcome, your girl try. Let's take a close up. Just in case you don't know what they are, it's like dough and ice cream in the middle. And someone actually recommended me to um, make some of my own, which I made. It seems a little bit intimidating to make, but I mean, your girl can do it all. So maybe it's 90 calories. That's the only thing about these things that I'm just like, oh, I could eat all of these. I'm the type that could eat a whole pint of ice cream. So your girl gotta pace herself. The good thing is you not know, gonna close it back and save it for later. But oh my goodness, uh, it's just so freaking good. Strawberry is my favorite. 
These are so good. I can't even say anything, y'all. I don't have nothing to say. Another one. Just one more. Let me go ahead and close this back. Mm. So good. Some people would thaw it out. Like, don't do that. Some people have done that and told me, like, Ugh, it's nasty. Well, don't thaw it out. Like, I like to eat it cold and hard. I like it to keep the structure. Because if you thaw it out and then bite into it, it's just gonna like be messy and sticky and the texture of the dough might not really be good for some of y'all. Yeah. Mm. All right, you guys, you see me on the couch. That means I'm tapping out, okay? I hope you guys enjoyed this video, just peeping some of my pregnancy cravings, just things that I'm eating more than average. This wasn't a 24 hour video, peep the title, okay? Sometimes I do the 24 hour videos and I'll have dinner early or whatever, but either way, this was not a 24 hour video. This was me just kind of snacking on the cravings that I do enjoy. Big shout out to the J team. If you want to shout out like them, I got to just click subscribe to the notification bell and let me know below. And that's it. Make sure to comment below and let me know what other videos you would like to see. And I will talk to y'all in my next video. 